Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here, and we are playing Let's Play The Sims 4, Barbie Season 3, Episode 20! Uh, exciting times, we've made it to Episode 20. And here Barbie is working off her little tushy because she has, just in the last part, witnessed her two daughters having a full-on brawl in public. How embarrassing. The land grabs probably saw it, and she's like, oh my god. <laughs> This is such an embarrassment to the family. Um, not only is it awful for Pearl, but yeah, it's also an embarrassment because what happened was Ruby got jealous of Pearl, um, Pearl's relationship with the family butler, Marco, and she cut off all of Pearl's hair and then they ended up getting in a big fight. Um, so that, that's pretty much what happened in the last part. But Ruby needs to be aged up. You guys have been like, Ruby needs to age up. She's needed to be aged up for so long. So that's going to happen in this part. Um, bathroom cash. While taking a quick break, Pearl spies some money just sitting on a sink in the bathroom. Should she slide it in her pocket for safekeeping or just turn it into the principal right away? I feel like she uh, would definitely turn it in because Pearl's more of a goody two-shoes. Uh, he then... Oh... The principal liked that, and then he launched into a 20-minute speech about honesty and, and integrity that Pearl tunes out halfway through, but the principal doesn't insist that Pearl's teacher, or does insist that Pearl's teacher give her extra credit for good citizenship. Oh, look at Kenny boy. Ah, oh, isn't he just gorgeous in that top? Uh, let's get her to go for an endurance run, because I feel like she would really want to push the limits because she's pretty stressed. I feel like Barbie is... Taking the, out the stress of the family on her new treadmill I just bought her. And um, you know what? She's like, she's a bit of a Wonder Woman. She's had how many kids now? Nine? <laughs> uh -huh. And she's just like, okay, everything's fine. I am in control. I can sort out this family. Focus, Bobby, focus. Look at her. What a woman. What a lady. She's an inspiration to all of us. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, the kids aren't quite home from school yet. Uh, Ken did have all his mates over. Oh, God. Can you please not... Please stop mourning, Margie. They do so much mourning, don't they? Uh, he did have all of his friends around. They just, like, permanently hang out at the house now and just go bowling. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. Ken's, like, midlife crises is that he enjoys go into the, like his midlife crises is he's taken up bowling full time and he got so into it he's like fully put a bowling alley in the house oh no wow the, the team's not doing that great um oh wow that was bad came camera angles on my behalf ken what are you doing get up off the ground man oh god this outfit is just woeful i love it it's just like no just no. <laughs> I like his new friend. Where, where is his other biffle? Lance. Love Lance. Uh, Lance is like the second Ken. They look like they're brothers. They're probably, they probably are brothers. Like they're obviously bros, but I feel like they should be brothers too. Also, uh, I want to put a fence here for the toddlers. Um, I did do this before, but the game didn't save. So I will do it again. Um, but yeah, I'll just put a fence in like that. We'll get a little gate. Because you know what? you got to keep the pool uh, safety happening when you have toddler kids. You, know, you can't have toddlers without pool fencing. That's the most stupidest thing ever. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Deli got a little stressed. Uh, and then let's grab this. Let's do a bit of city living. Let's fence this off. Oh, oh. I don't know about the blue, you guys. Because it doesn't really go with that door. Yeah, I'm, I, don't, I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll just go with this one. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Capish. Capish. And then for this pool gate, we'll go with this one. Beautiful. Oh, and I did get rid of the pool ladder. So let's place that in again. Oh, no. We're going to have to move the fencing back. Uh, is that all right? Did I ruin anything? Everything okay? Did that wallpaper come off? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Nice. So that is toddler safe. We did need to make a few changes to, to uh, the house since we had toddlers. I think it's important to... Oh, goodness. We need to adapt as we get new kids in the family. So that's what we're doing. Okay, lovely. 
Now, because Ruby was so naughty, um, I think Barbie's probably decided that her birthday party to age up would be called off. So she and Ken, um, they're going to take the family out for dinner instead for her birthday, but she's not going to get to invite any of her friends. So the big party she wanted to have as the popular girl is not going to happen anymore. So that's her loss. Oh, Ken! Whoa! What? Oh my God. What are you doing, man? Oh, Kenny. Oh, Kenny. Damn. How is his bowling skill, actually? <laughs> Level one, and he's absolutely smashing it. You go, Ken. You go, boyfriend. Where's all your friends gone? Where's Vance? Fancy poo, where are you? Uh, what's this maid doing? I feel like she does no work and gets Marco to do everything. Hello, sweetie pie. How you doing? Uh, oh, that rug's sticking out, and that's been annoying you guys, so let's pull that in. You know what? I don't like that. Oh, no, we're having rug problems. There we go. That's better. All right, so Ruby is now home from school. Uh, she's just downstairs. Is she checking her phone? She doesn't want to talk to Pearl. They're still grumpy. Tense from school. Okay, uh, but the... Wow, mood's really good. Okay. Ruby is not performing so well. Ruby's a D student. Nice one. Pearl is angry. She's trying to calm down in the mirror. I gotta see this. She's like, deep breaths. Deep breaths. Now, do my homework and everything is gonna be fine. I love that song. Uh, okay, where is her bedroom? Oh, where up? Whoa, I'm totally lost. Oh, here it is. Uh, let's open the bookshelf. Is her homework in here? Oh, look at all the toddler books. That's adorable. Ugh, I lose, you know what? I lose the homework book every day of this LP. <laughs> that I never know where they are. Um, school book, school book, school book. Is that school book? No, definitely not. Uh, is it in skill? I don't even know where homework books are. No. Hmm, I like the idea of a wellness book. Maybe we should actually buy that for Pearl. I feel like that would be good for her. So that's volume three. Oh my gosh, they have different covers? That's a first. Love that. Let's get both of them. Maybe Barbie got her some wellness books because she felt bad about what happened um, with Ruby, like what Ruby did to her. She was like, honey, I bought you some books today. Uh, grade school homework. Where's high school homework? There we go. Might as well get a few of them. Okay, uh, there we go. Let's do homework. What's she doing? She's playing with the toddlers. Thanks for ordering. You are welcome. Oh, look at these two socializing. They're gonna be best friends. Best friends. So cute. How are they going? Communication four, movement thinking two. Uh, what about this little, little one? Uh, let's get you to do some shapes. Because you're almost up to level three thinking. And you are doing really well on the potty. So maybe we should go potty. Because good on you. <laughs> that was so cute how he sat down. I loved that. Okay, is she doing her homework? Excellent. Now, uh, Barbie... Oh, just having a great old time. Barbie's going to have a chat. She's going to have a word to Ruby. Ruby's just avoiding going home. She's like, I'm busy. Hey neighbor, I'm bored. Oh wow, Topaz, you are always over. Uh, and Onyx has a crush on a girl at school, Megan. So I reckon he's gonna invite her over to, oh, he only got a game of 95. I think he's gonna invite her over to, in quotation marks, do a school project. Oh, he's helping tutor her or something. Cause he's a genius. That's how he, he gonna get the ladies. But I hope they don't use him. Cause he's so nice. He's so sweet. Okay, you're going potty. You're becoming a genius as well. Excellente. Now I think what we'll do is, oh, Ken, go say hi to your kid. Broke apartment key. <laughs> you come to our apartment too, too much. That's probably why. And how's Jem going? 
performance is good. Fill out reports. Let's get him to do that. Uh, and we also need to... Rem to Hold on. Hold on. Fill out reports. Good stuff. Uh, we also need to think about Margot and Jem. Uh, I think they should... I think he should tie the knot with Margot. Uh -huh. I love the idea of tying the knot with Margot. All right. Let's uh, ask about day. Hey, Megan. How are ya? Deep conversation. She's quite gorgeous, isn't she? Is this a Simley's creation? Or is this a... Megan Parks. I can't remember who this was made by. If this is a Sims character or a... I don't know. Share brilliant ideas. Love it. <gasps> Hug! Oh my god! Onyx. And remember you guys how antisocial he is? This is like a big deal he's talking to a girl. Oh my god, he really likes her! Okay. Uh, heartfelt compliment. Oh, and she's self-assured, so she's probably really confident. So she, like, is the opposite to him, and opposites kind of attract. Uh, deep conversation. Wow, they get along really well. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? It's like the first girl he's ever been able to talk to. Can he... Can he, uh, compliment her appearance? Be like, I really like your top. It reminds me of Pac-Man. Or something. I don't know. Not Pac-Man. The Matrix. I think she likes that. Reveal crush. And I don't want to reveal a crush. Can he do a little flirt? Can he just a little one? I feel like this is really bold for Onyx. When, when he says flirt, it would be like flirting him that he's really not flirting that much. He'd be like, I like your hair. <laughs> you have long hair like me. <laughs> what is that on his shirt? Is that a uh, cat or something? This is cute. Oh, who did you get a message from? Tell engaging story. Okay, they're getting along just fine. Anyways, uh, Ruby, I think... Oh, she's still too scared to go upstairs. Okay, let's get Barbie to sit in the formal dining... Uh, the formal lounge. She's gonna sit on this chair. And she's gonna call Ruby up to sit over here. And she's gonna have a chat to Ruby and be like, we're going to take the family out for dinner. That's all we're doing for your birthday. Oh, these girls are enemies. They're despised. Wow. She's like, sit down, sweetie. Okay, now let's get her to say to her, lecture about responsibilities. You are the oldest sister and you are responsible for your actions. And actions have consequences. So therefore, we, let's, I don't know if Barbie would yell at, but she wouldn't really insult. But then, I don't know. Maybe just have a deep conversation after that and then maybe <laughs> talk about focusing methods. It's like, you have an anger problem. You need to focus on these methods. Try these method methods. Give the woohoo talk maybe as well, just to make it worse. She's like, okay, so I'm punishing you in two ways. You are grounded, number one. You won't be having a birthday party what anymore. We're calling it off. Are You're going to be coming out for here? dinner with the family to a new restaurant that Ken has invested in. And furthermore, I am now giving you the woohoo talk. <laughs> Everybody would be like, oh, why are you giving me this talk? She's like, I know you've never wanted to have it, but it's time. Especially when you're like wearing your bra sticking out. Boys might notice you and one thing might lead to another. And she can have a laugh. She's like, this is so awkward. But she didn't really get in too much trouble. She still gets to go to a really expensive dinner for a birthday. Like, she didn't get yelled at by her mom. She doesn't look like too unhappy at all. Maybe it's a fake smile though. Maybe she's trying to act like it doesn't bother her. So let's take the family out for dinner. Let's go. Let's go out for dinner for Ruby's birthday. And I've replaced the old Chinese restaurant. It's closed down. Uh, 
and there's a new restaurant now. So we're just gonna do the 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 immediate family maybe. Oh, actually no, we'll leave the twins at home. Oh, we should probably invite Lamassi and Nita. Barbie still wants Jem to be with Honey, I reckon. Oh no, there's too many. Okay, we're gonna have to just invite the direct family. And Topaz, because Topaz, I mean, come on, Topaz is always with us. <laughs> uh, so, oh, Pearl, Gem, where's Onyx? Onyx, or oh, maybe Amethyst can come. Mm. Be nice to have Diamond. Oh, we can't fit her. Okay, that's everyone. Wow, Kim Kardashian's an elderly lady now. Everyone grows up. Except Peter Pan. Peter Pan never grew up. It's pretty awesome. But I feel like it's kind of sad. Like, I feel like there should be a story of Peter Pan when he does grow up. I mean, Hook was like that. Did you guys ever see the film Hook? It was awesome. Such a good movie. Such a good movie. All right. The family is here. Oh, look at them in all of their finest. <laughs> They get really dressed up for these occasions, don't they? Uh, so I got this off the gallery. Uh, this is a user's creation. And I just thought it was so pretty, fitted really well into the Barbie LP. Um, so it's by Simi Amy, and it's called The Uptown Restaurant, if you guys want to download it. That was really nice. Um, so shout out to Sima Amy. Uh, but yeah, this is it. And I love these canopies. And I mean, check out the view. Like, look at those windows that look out over here and you can get outdoor tables. Ah, amazing. Anyways, let's go into the restaurants. Uh, we'll go over to good on Diachi and request a table, please. Restaurants, request table. Uh, for the birthday of Ruby. I mean, if this was my birthday, I would be stoked at this restaurant. Oh my God, wearing fancy clothes. It'd be the best birthday ever. He's like, oh, I don't know if we can fit everyone uh, in. Bobby's like, oh, Diacho, come on. Come on. It's for Ruby's birthday. <laughs> Loving Topaz's outfit. Oh, I really wanted to be seated in this room. Oh, my God. Love Amethyst's outfit right now. I love how, like, alternative what her fashion is. Today? What? 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 Oh, I think she's going to the bathroom. Oh, no, this is okay. They get their own uh, private dining area oh, nice except for this little table in the corner beautiful what is topaz doing this is magical all right so we're going to order for the table i think um yeah sweet here's your table enjoy your meal so let's um <laughs> Look at Topaz, he's such like, he's the life of the party. Onyx looks really nice. I love Amethyst's tattoo. Uh, friendly, bright and day. Let's give an apartment key to Amethyst. I'd like her to come around more. And I do like how Pearl and Amethyst are chatting at the end of the table. And I love her shorter hair. This is custom content. Um, I'll try and remember to link it in the description of the video, but I think that hair really suits her. And I love Amethyst's short hair as well. I think that's really pretty too. Okay, Diachi, where's the service? Okay. Uh, who's this chick? Are we the only ones at this restaurant? Oh no, there's a few other people here and there. It's just not that busy night. Uh, no, we don't want to give up the table. Look at this hot couple. Victor! Victor, my man. Hello. Order is kind of confusing. Oh, oh, waiter. Yes, here we go. Uh, asked to deliver compliment. Well, I don't think so. We need to order for the table. So I'm thinking everyone, I don't think they should have a set menu. I think they should be able to have different things because I love seeing all the food come out. All right, so uh, let's, for, let's get, let's get, I think, Barbie would definitely have the Sims Mapolitan. And you know what? Maybe we'll get one for Pearl, Amethyst, and Ruby, the birthday girl. That sounds good. And then I feel like Ken suits a bit of a dim and gusty. 
Uh, we might get Jem to have the, yeah, we'll get Jem a wine. Uh, Onyx doesn't really drink wine and stuff, so we'll just get a Tang and a Zing for Onyx. Uh, and then, oh, who did I give the wine to? Did I give the wine to anyone? I don't know. And then Topaz. I feel like Topaz is definitely a wine kind of guy too, like a red wine kind of guy. And uh, I don't think we need appetizers. We'll just go straight to the mains. And I think the volcano pasta can be for Ruby, um, Gem, Onyx, and then maybe uh, we'll get the semi-fried beet noodles for Barbie. I think, hmm, oh, no, no, no. Ruby should get the present, the present one. I like that. Uh, Amethyst would get the egg. For sure. Pearl can get this. Oh, no, wait. She's vegetarian. She won't like that. Um, a bamboo roll for Pearl. That'll keep her happy. This is kind of cool. I like this honeycomb thing. And Ken, what would Ken have? Ah, the sizzled brisket. Beautiful. And we'll order a birthday cake oh, afterwards. Kinguna. Oh, nice. Pearl, no friend at the table. This is actually a really nice family dinner moment. It's not that often that the whole family's in one spot at one time. I mean, well, not everyone is here, of course, because there's about a gazillion kids, but it's still nice. These girls look really good next to each other. They're so beautiful. Do you guys think they're like such gorgeous looking sims? Like it's a good looking family. Then look at them all. I feel like Ken probably sees the most potential in Onyx to run the family business. Oh, I totally forgot Onyx has braces. Yeah, we gave Onyx braces. <laughs> oh, so cute. Love it. And then Topaz is just like, daddy now. And then Gem is, he just looks like a toy boy, you know what I mean? Like he just, not a toy boy, he looks like a player is what I'm trying to say. Barbie always looks like Barbie. All right, where are our drinks? Hello. Now, how do we order a cake? I want to order a birthday cake. Yo. Restaurant. Oh my God, he's a vampire. You're kidding me. You are kidding me right now. <laughs> no way, Jose. Oh my God. Can we, oh my God. Now, <laughs> let's just see. Do we have to, if we want to put a cake on the menu, like I swear you can order a birthday cake. You guys have told me how to do this before and I don't know how. Oh no. It's a crisis. If I ever saw one, Ken's like, I swear that waiter was a vampire. <laughs> She's like, shut up, Dad. Stop embarrassing me. Topaz, everyone at school is saying that you have crabs. Ha, that's been like a rumor since I was 15. Come on, Ruby, you don't really believe that. Oh my God. I have been studying dinosaurs, Dad, and it is so interesting. I love finding out what they're talking about from their speech bubbles or just making it up. I feel like our food is taking so long. Chef, what are you doing down there? Or can we just... Are there cakes in the fridge or something? I doubt it. Ooh, grilled fruit. Oh good, he's got our order. Excellent. And what? Is the meal only how much? Oh my god, that is so creepy, but so convenient being a vampire. He can just pop up and down whenever he needs to. <laughs> I like how the girls have those, those birthday drinks. Oh, and Ruby's got a big birthday, birthday dessert. I suppose she can age up when she gets home. How sweet. Barbie's getting a little bit tipsy there. Of course, she's gonna have her Barbie Instagram. Oh, God. Can you stop doing that, waiter man? <laughs> like, seriously, you're freaking me out. Uh, 
Let's see if we can order the birthday cake again. Alrighty, so I quickly got Barbie to bake a cake because I could not figure out how to get the bring the cake interaction. So anyways, we're gonna get Ruby to come over here and blow out the candles and finally celebrate her birthday and age up at 5.33 a.m. The family's been out all night at this restaurant, but it's okay. It's okay. As long as she ages up in the end, I'm happy. All right, Ruby. Yay! I still think it's hilarious that they all had a costume change for a, from dinner to dessert. And there we go. She's aged up into a young adult and she can get knocked up. Woo! Oh, damn, girl. Check out those hips. She's got a killer bod. I love it. Oh, my God. She's so fabulously curvy. Girl. Yes, honey. <laughs> anyway, you guys, sorry that that, uh, that that did take quite a while. <laughs> to figure out how to get that cake. But I hope you enjoyed this part. Uh, let me know what you want to happen with uh, Ruby and Marco and Pearl. Very interesting indeed. But I do think that she as a very young adult, like I'm talking 18, should um, maybe accidentally have a baby just to add a little bit of drama to the LP, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.